it's me to Ryla Paul with a up and coming buddy build with a Greg Riley. Uh, we've just I've just finished the uh, T34, uh, which is part of the T34 group build, which is on Facebook and, and YouTube, uh, which was set up by Greg Riley with me helping him along. Not I haven't done much more. I'm just going to be start looking at it now for the next couple of days again. But um, this is our next build. This is a, a buddy build, and it's the jumbo. And the kit number is uh, TS Stroke. Uh, dash sorry dash zero four five it comes with a, a tracks included rubber band as well but of course you need the duck bill for this vehicle because they, they did a lot they add duck bills it gives them a better bit of ground coverage as well so anyway being interesting it's the m4a3 e2 the e2 version being this one um it's going to be a fun builder and it's a ming kit the ming dynasties i was going to say but not anyway then we're just going to show you that's inside the box here we go that bit don't come in the box i've just got that this is the instructions i'll have a look through them in a little while just a quick fly through and i'm just going to show you the bits and pieces you can see how good all these bits are in this through the bag i'm not going to take them out of the bag so i'm you know i don't like doing it too much but there you go that's all the track pieces quite a few i'm going to put them on the chair as long as i don't sit down i'll be all right parts of the body and I'm trying to get a good glare on there there you go It just proves that the kit's not being built as well. And transmission front. It's all lovely in mouldings, really is nice. So it can't be as old as Ming Dynasty really, can it? Another one, you get a choice there, you have to pick the right one I suppose on the kit. The wheels are really nice, solid. Oil sprockets. I'll go for them. This is the upper body or part of it. You can see a lot of really good texturing on this, which is quite nice. There you go. Quite a lot of the texture in there. And poly caps, I do like poly caps. Uh, but you don't, I mean, need them on the uh, idler and uh, running wheels because the other ones are a bit blocked. <coughs> Some more wheels and parts of the suspension. Nice little bolts that you can cut off and put in place where they're needed. This isn't bad through the actual the bag really. It just saves me taking everything off out of the bags to, to show. But I will obviously. I might as well take some photographs of all the bits out of the bags later. This is just to show it's not been bit, bit started and there you go. Not a slide boldy barrel, but that's the wrong barrel for this one anyway, because it's I think yeah that's the long 75 so or 76 I should say. Like that got clear parts for that which is really nice and these tracks are not bad actually they look really but they're well done and to be honest for, for these are actually not live tracks these are actually these, these are live tracks that are actually is it dead um, live tracks i think but they just stick to the same formation so lovely pair of tracks but of course no duck bills if they've been built with duck bills they've been good decals i'll show photographs of that later now i may not do the one the last one in baston i might do just a, a standard ease uh, jumbo but uh, we'll see and what are these in this little box here have a look ah ah springs i'll put them back in there's the springs it's funny i'm going to be building this in spring so having springs is quite a good idea um clear parts for the periscopes that one looks like a part of a track building uh, Jig, so I'll soon find out when we go through the instructions. Turret top. It's 
as you can see even through the plastic you can actually see the texture in on the on the on the actual plastic for the for the actual casting i may still go on it over with a bit of um just for just a surface of 500 because obviously the join wouldn't be there i don't think we'll be checking on that later gun maintenance i want to do it that way so much better it's very nice ah oh. and you do get a aluminium barrel i might drill that out a bit further but um, yeah it's nice i might drill that out to make it a bit more depth and some more bits here just put that floor mustn't move my feet tools and bits and pieces ammo belts and I know, that's pretty good that's really good for the ammunition nice bit of painting on that first a 50 cow i'm gonna pick that up <laughs> stand on the turret and you get another turn now we're gonna pick which one it is i'll find it in the instructions obviously but they've both got nice casting on it both got nice casting so there you go so i think that's it really oh a bit of pe i never did like pe when i was at school but now i do like pe there we go nice bit of cabling and all for the actual tow cables track pins which is interesting track pins so the plastic ones do have track pins i still might get aftermarket for that i'm not sure i, I do like the old metal through type tracks and uh, i think you can get them for this particular vehicle i won't be using the fenders even if i do use the pe which i will do but i won't be using that i like that bit this is, i don't know what's inside here because i've never looked in it when it came take this bit out <laughs> never get it out when you try there you go get a lot of pe and there's the aerial bit as well so you get some nice one ah oh, get some tow cable there rods and bits and pieces fenders lots of details there whether we use it all i don't know but i've got it quite reasonable so it's, it's not a thing, bad thing to have it there and sometimes what you don't use on this vehicle you can use on another one so there you go so there you go so that's it so i'm just going to switch the camera back off and i'll be back there in a second right here we are we're back with the um, destructions as we call them as i said there's a nice kit so have a look at the instructions they're going to be quite complicated i think for this one so go there a bit of splurb about the vehicle in english which is nice and so it tells you basically true about it i know this tank actually survived the war and it's in the pattern museum i believe if i remember lightly so you get a lot of spill about it that's all of different languages as well and then we get to the actual building bus usual bit about safety and using tools and everything you can see basically how it starts it looks pretty straightforward so far and there are, you do get some nice vehicles there so i might have a look and see what there is obviously one that's in the box on the box art i quite like that one but that's got a different gun so i need need to do one of these three and that could be that one there i'll wait and see might end up doing the doing the black pastor one which was king cobra so may do so i'm going to leave that decision for later game log said about these i do like this when you can remove the the sprockets and everything to build the bits and pieces nice all the new bits you can see is the colors actually showing you the new bits are going on so the old bits gray and the and a bit of color for showing you what's news coming on which is good yeah i was right you actually make the tracks up and use pins and um, doesn't show you a duck bills there though well, if there's no duck bills on these tracks that's not so clever for me i do like the duck bills still we'll see that in a minute have a look looks like you don't get them so you're building the track up as if it's normal so the rubber bands would be just as good because i think that the detail on that looks quite nice especially with a bit of weathering over it yep coming along nicely it's quite nice up to number 10. yep putting the hatches on on the driver's hatches and bits and pieces and also some pe obviously there the details do look nice carrying on spare track blocks on the back it's not too busy the instructions is quite a nice booklet and they're not too busy which is nice making the cables up 
obviously you wouldn't, I wouldn't put them on straight away. I will do the cables on this, I didn't do mine for T34. A waterproof board. Hmm. Building up the mantle inside there, the turret. Preparing for the actual attachments. Building the turret up. They have made it nice and simple. You're just building along and doing it as you go. And I like the glass bits, as you say. Clean up. You can actually paint them in this colour, but I'm going to leave them clear. Because when you go into the museum, you can actually see the silver bit behind it, the reflective mirror that actually does it. So, it's, you know, it can colour the glass, but I'm going to just leave it clear so you can actually see perspex. And this I use a clear colour just to put over the glass, like, like a bluey or a greeny colour. Germans you normally have a sort of a greeny tone to it. Building up the machine gun. And this is where you choose your barrel. Well, obviously I'm going to be using the metal one because it's a jumbo. And parts which that just shows you just isn't there seems to be sun. Loads of parts, but of course most of them are to do with the tracks. Right. Yeah, that's one in Best Stone, Full Farmer Division, US Battle of the Bulge, Best Stone. And then this one is Tank 6 Armour Division, Germany, March 1945. That's quite a nice looking one as well. I may go with that one. In fact, I will go with that one. Because everyone's going to build that one, it's pretty obvious. So, but I'm going to build this one. That's what I'm definitely going for. Be interesting. Good. Oh, there's more here. That's it. Spring 45. Yep. Three French there, so anyone with France would like to build that one. I'm tempted to build a French one, but I've got some French a French vehicle to build later on, and I'd rather do that. So I do like to have uh, support other countries because uh, World War Two, let's face it, was it was all fighting the Germans, so and it's all part of um, the history. So we'll have to build a, a French, free French tank at some point. It must probably be a Sherman anyway, because they did use utilize those quite a bit. Yeah, that's it, and then you get the colour calls out, rubber. Transparent red, transparent blue. Yeah, so there you go. So that let's bring it back into the casino. So that's what we're going to be doing it with our bunny build. Let's pull it, pull it out a bit. There you go. Going to have to pull it up. So, whoops. That is my build for our bunny build with uh, Greg Riley so and that'll be starting any time now so we're getting get ready to that so I'm just going to have a couple of days later to start but it but, uh, catch me up if I do start but I'm going to look into the tracks to see whether because I like the duck bills on it so gives a bit of ground pressure clearance anyway so I'll be looking for that anyway so thank you very much for having a look at that I will have put some photographs of all the sprues at the end of the video so you can actually if you want to freeze and have a quick look at them that's what I can do so see, catch you later Happy modeling, stay safe.